This is a video on the use of Napier's bones for use in multiplication. And what Napier's bones consist of is actually a multiplication table that has been split up into separate individual strips. And we'll start the multiplication by looking at a single digit times a single digit. So I want to multiply 9 times 3. So I grabbed a 9 rod and I'm going to set it in here. And in order to find the result 9 times 3, we look right here and we see that that's a 27. All of these rods have a diagonal cutting through them through each square. And so we have a tens place and a ones place. Let's try a double digit number. Um, instead of 3 times 9, let's do 3 times 12. So I'm grabbing a 1 rod and a 2 rod to make a 12. And I'll place it in the frame. And in order to do 3 times 12, I just look across here next to the 3, and I read off a 36. This one was a reasonably easy multiplication because there were not any carries that were involved. Let's say we wanted to multiply by 7 instead of by 3. Well, if we come down here to the 7 row, we'll notice that we have a 4 in the 1's place, but then we have this diagonal, and there are two numbers in there, a 1 and a 7, and then there's a 0 on the front. It is the case that 7 times 12 is 84, because we add the 1 and the 7 to get 8, and then we have the 4. So 7 times 12 is 84. So let's also do a um, two-digit number times a two-digit number, and we'll just leave the 12 in here. Let's say we do um, 26 times 12. We're going to do 26 times 12. So what we're going to need to do is a 2 times the 12, which is the 24. And then we also need to do the 6 times the 12, which is a 72. But I need to remember that this 2 isn't so much a 2. It's, in fact, it's not a 2. It's a 20. We're multiplying by something in the tens place. So I'm going to need to place a 0 on the end of that number because this is actually in the tens place. And so we'll go ahead and line these numbers up and add them. Two hundred forty plus seventy two is going to be three hundred twelve. And so let's do one more example. Let's bump this up one more step where we're going to be multiplying a two digit number by a three digit number. So let's multiply fifty eight times three hundred seventy four. So I'm going to create the 374 in the frame, 374, and we're going to multiply that by 58. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to multiply the 374 by 5 and that is sitting right here, and we just need to take these along the diagonals. So as I read this off, I see that 5 times 374 is equal to 1,870. 1,870, right there above my fingers. And then 8 times 374. Let's see, oh, that's kind of nice. We don't need to do any carrying here either. I always want to look ahead and see if I'm going to need to do a carry. For instance, if I had done times 7, I'd get 2 plus 9 here, which is 11, and I would need to carry a 1. But in multiplying by the 8, we end up with a result of 2,000 992. 
And once again, we have to remember that this is not just a 5. It's a 5 in the tens place, so it's a 50. I maybe even want to put a 0 behind that 5 to remind me of that. And then we'll go ahead and add up the result. So we have 18,700 plus 2,992. And when we do the addition, we get 21,692.